Hello everyone. Welcome to our new video on IBM Security Reactor EDR. In this video, we are going to see how to install a Reactor Agent on Linux endpoints. The Reactor Agent is supported on various Linux distributions with both 32-bit and 64-bit architectures such as Amazon Linux 2, CentOS 7, 8, Debian 8, 9, 10, 11, OpenSUSE Leap 15, Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7, 8, 9, SUSE Linux Enterprise Server 15 SP4, Ubuntu 18.04 LTS, 20.04 LTS, 22.04 LTS. The reactor agent requires 90 MB of hard disk space and 10 MB of network bandwidth and uses a minimum of 60 MB of RAM. The reactor agents can be downloaded from reactor dashboard. Currently, I am at the reactor dashboard homepage. Click on the administration tab, then click on update manager. You can see various installer packages listed on it. Please choose the required Linux package. A new agent distribution pane will be opened. Click on the download installer tab. You can find two different installer for Debian based distributions and RPM based distributions. In my case, I am going to choose the Debian based installer. Click on the download button to download the agent. Under the parameters, select appropriate groups to generate group IDs or GIDs and note down the GIDs which will be used while installing the agent. Now let's begin the agent installation. Before installing the agent, ensure that the prerequisite packages or dependencies are installed on your endpoint. You will require internet access to download these packages. Some packages might be available only after you enable extra repositories. Specifically, in RPM based Linux agent installation, to install DKMS package, we need to enable extra packages for enterprise Linux repository. Please note if you just copy paste the command from the link, the command will download remaining packages and there is a chance that DKMS is missed. So, if you continue, agent installation will be successful but will not function properly. Hence, it is very important to make sure that all the prerequisites are installed. You can find the listed dependencies for all Linux distributions as well as commands to install them in this IBM document. Link for this has been copied in the video description. In my case, let me install dependencies for Ubuntu Linux 20.04 LTS. As the dependencies are installed now, let me proceed to install the reactor agent. You can copy the installation command from the same IBM document and put the hive backend URL, port number and appropriate GIDs to register the endpoint. In an MSSP deployment, you must specify a GID you install the reactor agent, otherwise the endpoint registration fails. Now run the command. You can see the registration is successful now. Let us check uh, whether the keeper services is running or not. You can see the keeper x service is running. Now let's go to the reactor dashboard to check if the endpoint is registered successfully or not. You can see the endpoint is listed in the endpoints tab and the green dot beside it shows it is online. That's all for this video. Thank you.